Good morning. Morning still? Yeah, it's 9. Almost 10.30 already. Um, good morning. I'm in Winnipeg now. Uh, this is my Airbnb. Just renting a room. If you just rent a room, you can do pretty well. It's like $200 for four days. So, and I can, there's a shower, I can do laundry. Anyways, I'm renting a car in Winnipeg because I lived here for four years and uh, I wanna go tour around, go see my old house. Go, I know things are mostly closed, but just see the streets again, see what's changed. Um, this is why I'm spending some nights. Although yesterday wasn't the best day to fly, today's definitely not a good day. So uh, I'm gonna walk to the uh, car rental agency. It's only about 10 minutes and uh, get my my cool vehicle. I don't know what I have, but we'll see. I just turned down my old street, Fort J Ave. I'm just driving up now. It's already feeling weird just driving here. Like not having to get out of the directions and just, it's like you're driving home. I know in, in one sense it was only four years, but it, that's a lot of adult lifetime living in a different city. Uh, I should be getting really close. Yeah, there it is. I'm missing some trees. It's not the big one, it's the little one there. That used to be my house. That was my little house. I even lived there with somebody. At the time, somebody who's, uh, I noticed they're having a baby recently. It's not my baby, I swear. Years, years later. Different life. Different life at a different time. I was just thinking as I'm driving by, there was like a route that I used to walk and jog and such. And uh, just the different aspirations you would have had in your mind at that time. Like at that time I was posted to the military base in Winnipeg. And I was just thinking about trying to get posted to uh, Trenton, Ontario. And then I was hoping to get posted to Germany after that. That was my big goal. And now it's just like driving by, it's like you have a whole different life. <laughs> like different different lifetime goals. Everything's different. And this is only a, a couple years, like um, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 2017 roughly. So three, four, like four years ago? Four or five years ago? If things change quick, like big time. All right, I'm gonna go get a coffee and uh, I think tour around a bit more. Found or went back to my favorite coffee shop, the Mountain Bean. After I go to good old Liquor Mart, I'm gonna get some wine and then go to my coffee shop. Driving into Winnipeg on Henderson Highway is almost, almost like driving into Toronto on the 401 or Don Valley Parkway or whatever those highways are that go right downtown. Because you're like on this highway, but you can see the city. I don't know how well you can see it in my little camera, but I'm on Henderson Highway, headed south. Going into the heart. Oh, check out this cool round building thing. Oh, well, I want to go south on Main Street. Alright, oh, I forgot they have a Logan Ave, too. Sketchy part of town, though. Logan Ave is on a sketch. And I think it's number 47. It is too, yeah. Logan Ave, number 47, which is my favorite number, way before I moved to Winnipeg. Um, but the only downside is it's sketchy part of town. The north, uh, like north central, north central area of Winnipeg is a uh, sketchy town. I just thought that, I just thought this building was kind of weird. Not the circle one, that's the museum, but the one, well, might be the museum too, I don't know. Look around those windows, <laughs> weirdest window shades. We're about to go, we're on Main right now, and the famous intersection in Winnipeg is Portage in Main, which we are almost at, should be just around the corner. And at, uh, at Portage in Main, they actually had, they used to have this bar called the uh, Whiskey Dicks, which is a funny name and a fun bar to go to. 
uh, when I was here. And then they changed it to the uh, world famous Palomino Club, which it is still. Thermit Palomino Club. So that's, that's the place. And here we are, Portage in Maine. This is, oh, yellow light, this is Winnipeg. Oh, if I get a, there's so many red light cameras here. Lots of tickets available. Wasn't well, sure what I was doing today, but apparently I'm doing a car tour. So, we are just about to get to the Canadian Museum of Human Rights. You'll now find it on the $5 bill. Uh, she's right here. This is right beside the Forks in Winnipeg. I've actually not been to the museum. I was hoping to go while I was here. Um, they seem pretty locked down due to COVID. And there's the old police. So we will... <laughs> okay. Canadian Museum of Human Rights. Whoop. Can't, can't miss this crosswalk. That's helpful. Now, if you're still with me on the tour, or if I've decided to even produce it, we've arrived in the French part of town, St. Boniface. Ho ho ho! The, uh, there's a French part of the city in the south end, across the bridge, southeast end, called St. Boniface. St. Boniface. And, uh, yeah, all the roads are called ruse. It's all French-like. Basically have to be French to live here. Or they will ridicule you. Alright, part of my Winnipeg tour here, my stops. Best Buy! <laughs> so, um, my hard drive, I bought an external hard drive to store all these videos on. And, uh, it just, it's not like Sometimes I'll be uploading something and then it'll say I ejected it, which which I didn't. I don't know if it's the hard drive or the cable or what, but I'm just getting worried because now, now I've flown like halfway across the country and I have quite a few videos, uh, which I haven't had time to edit by any means. So you can get two terabytes for uh, $90 tax in. So $80 plus tax, Manitoba tax. Which I, don't, I can't remember what percent that is. But $90, two terabytes. So today I'm gonna hook up my two external hard drives and transfer and just kind of duplicate everything. Um, and this one's blue, <laughs> so I like blue. That's the story. It's the longest train I've ever waited for. I feel like I've been here maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, my Winnipeg uh, side journey here, I'm gonna get this mop cut. Didn't put any gel in her today because uh, gotta get it cut, but it's been some time. When you're on the road long enough, gotta get haircuts. Can't believe how long this train is. Good day. So I'm in uh, Winnipeg still. It's been uh, like five days, like four nights. Um, I'm in Lingcrest, which is on the east side of town. Uh, it's all grass here. Waiting for the weather. It finally cleared up. Uh, it's just a bit windy. And I'm going from uh, Lingcrest to to Kenora today is the goal. Um, and, and a little past Kenora, actually, to Vermilion Bay camp. I'm going to stop in Kenora and, and top up the tanks.
Anyways. All right, I'm on the grass. I like the grass. It takes a bit of effort to get going. You don't want to stop. Otherwise, you're going to burn a lot of fuel. Just over West Hawk Lake. Uh, I, think, I don't know if it's Ontario or Manitoba, but I'm right around there. Probably Ontario by now. I'm feeling pretty sick. Um, this has been my bumpiest flight yet. The whole way it's been like, oh, I feel uh, flushed. I'm trying to drink water and. Change altitudes to try and get out of the wind. Every, I've flown quite a few times now. This is the first flight I've, I've felt sick. Okay. We're getting there. Just going to. Uh, I'll continue on to uh, Vermilion Bay to the to the west. If you uh, are you okay to close my flight plan uh, here, Papalus Goosey? Roger, I'll close your uh, VFR flight plan now and uh, check you proceeding eastbound for Vermilion Bay. If you need to contact uh, the Winnipeg FIC to amend it, they're on uh, one two three decimal three seven five. Understood. Uh, I was just thinking you'll close it here and then I'll do a local flight to uh, Vermilion Bay, Papalus Goosey. Roger, check your flight plan closed. And what uh, hand turn are you planning there? Yeah, could, could I do, uh, I could do either way, a, a left or a right turn out and then head east. A uh, left turn would be better. Check the citation now about a six mile final and there's a LO6 helicopter inbound from the north they're estimating here in about seven minutes. 
Understood. Thanks for your help. I'll do a left turn out and then uh, head east uh, direct to Vermilion Bay, Papalos Coast. Roger, report clear the zone to the east. Understood. Papalos Coast. Little too gusty, and the other runway is more on in line for me. I'm glad I made that call. All right, that was a fun little exercise. And um, Papa Whiskey Whiskey, I check you clearing the zone now. I'll get you to switch to squawk code 0774 and check there is a fire one three miles to the east of the Kenora Airport. Multiple uh, helicopters working at, I'm sure about their altitude if you want to try them en route. Understood, that's 0774 and uh, we'll watch the traffic there. Uh, clear the zone to the east, uh, Papa Whiskey Whiskey. Roger, have a good afternoon. All right, thank you. All right, Vermilion Bay. I hope this is much uh, nicer. The wind-wise, it, it is. Um, it, there's much more into wind landing option. Especially when it's gusting like 23. Like, really blowing me around sideways before. Million B traffic, Piper Cold Golf, Papa Whiskey Whiskey, is turning final 1 8. Quite the flight today. I don't know. That was a hard one. That was probably my roughest flight yet, difficulty wise and comfort comfort wise. But I'm glad to be on the ground, and I'll figure out my fuel situation and where I'm going next and such later.